Since making this video, it seems as though numerous sources have confirmed it's correct. Tesla will get a new battery. It's a bit bigger than the previous version. It apparently is very likely to come to not just the Tesla Model 3, which reports have confirmed, but also the Tesla Model Y. Sorry, Americans, you're probably gonna miss out. Lots of different sites are reporting that there is a brand new battery pack coming from the, coming for the Tesla Model 3. Apparently it's gonna have this, well, increased size. It could go into the Model Y as well, but it's confirmed for the Model 3 for 2025. Now guys, I don't know if this is true. I'm just reporting to you the information that's been out there. I haven't seen this information shared on any major websites, but it is on some major websites, uh, Tesla Newswire and some other sites. So here are the details on this supposed new CATL lithium iron phosphate or not, potentially could be another chemistry, but I'm gonna say that I don't agree with that. Here are, the, here are the numbers here and here are the details. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'll be at the Sydney EV Show this week on the 8th, 9th, and 10th of November. Love to see you there. I'll put a link in the description for free tickets. Now, this new battery pack, here are the details, right? It's bigger. The existing battery pack is a 60 kilowatt hour battery. So this new Cadle lithium ion phosphate battery well, this report saying it might be, here's one, and I'm gonna tell you why I think it's wrong. Um, this, there's a few reports saying it might actually be LFMP. So Tesla Newswire, I don't know, I mean, guys, LFMP, I've never heard of LFMP before. Neither has anyone in the industry because LFMP is not a thing. It's LMFP, LMFP. Anyhow, they're saying this new battery pack is, it's going to be a lithium ion phosphate battery. So it's basically an upgraded version of the existing lithium ion phosphate battery in the Tesla Model 3. Now, I believe a similar battery will go into the base Model Y for the Juniper version. But anyhow, the size, it's one kilogram lighter, even though it's bigger. So it's 4% bigger, 62.5 kilowatt hours versus 60 kilowatt hours for the existing battery. It's 475 kilograms or 1,047 pounds. Kind of gives you some idea on the weight of these batteries. And yeah, one kilogram lighter. Range, they say, will be 520 kilometers WLTP. Now that is, you know, I mean, not that much different, to be honest, to the existing Tesla Model 3. That's for the rear-wheel drive single motor version. And that's with 19 inch wheels. Now that's an increase of range by only seven kilometers. And that's you know an increase of range of 4.4 miles. So I don't actually believe this story because really if you increase the battery pack by 4%, really, you're really only gonna increase the range by um, seven kilometers. I don't know, I mean, maybe that's true. I just find that hard to believe. Anyhow, this battery is called E1A. Um, CATL, so Cadle 6M battery. Yeah, that's a, that's they're the main details here. Now, apparently the big change here is the fast charging power. It's said that the charging speed will be significantly quicker than today's existing Tesla battery. So what does that mean? I don't think it's gonna charge any, any faster in terms of peak power. Peak power will still be around 250 kilowatt, but it should be able to hold a higher charge for longer. Now, technically it's true that the standard range Model 3 is only be able to meant to charge to about 170, 180 kilowatt. So that actually may change. That may change to 250 potentially. That would be a nice upgrade for the Model 3. Now, if you're in America, you're wondering what range this is, that's 323 miles of range, but you guys in America don't get that battery pack, so it's not really relevant for you anyway. You obviously now have the Panasonic battery in the standard range which is now the long range. The cheapest version of the Model 3 is the long range rear wheel drive with the Panasonic battery pack. That gets about 370 miles of range, but in the real world, it's getting closer to 400 miles of range. EPA uh, range is 369 or three, no, 363, but it's getting closer to 400. That's a different car, different battery. Well, not really a different car, but an entirely different battery. Now that car, of course, is more a bit more expensive than this Tesla Model 3 with an LFP battery. And for good reason, it's a bigger battery pack, it's got a lot more range. So this video, it's not about that model. That model's getting no changes. It's not gonna get this battery because this battery is made in China. If you were to get this battery, your car, your Model 3 would not qualify for EV incentives in the United States. That means it'd be $7,500 more expensive for most people, US dollars. So 
yeah, this is not an American car. Uh, I don't think it'll be going to Canada either, but it will be going to places like Europe, Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, Israel, um, New Zealand. Uh, yeah, many, many, many different countries around the world. Singapore that get the many countries that get the Tesla Model 3 standard range. This is actually, a, I think, could be a nice upgrade. Probably in the real world, it's probably going to get more like my guess would be closer to this would be the real world range, you know, 323 miles or about 500, 520 kilometers in the real world with this new battery pack. So which new LFP battery actually is it? I mean, Cadle have five different new battery packs that are all LFP, all right? They've got the million, the million mile battery or the million kilometer battery, I should say, million kilometer warranty battery. They've got the 700,000 kilometer warranty battery that has a bit higher energy density. They've got the Chillin 2.0, they've got the Shensing Plus, and they've got the standard Shensing. I mean, there's so many batteries from this company that we, we don't know which one it's going to be. Now, I suspect it's not the Shensing Plus battery. It's clearly not the Chillin 2.0. The Chillin 2.0 is actually not LFP. The Shensing Plus, that's a new LFP battery. That has a much higher energy density than Tesla's existing LFP battery. So, it's clearly not that, otherwise the range would have jumped up to 600 plus. So it's, that's not the battery. It might be the 700,000 kilometer range battery. That has an energy density, I believe, of about 180, 175, 180 watt hours per kilogram. So that has just a tiny bit higher energy density, I believe, than the Tesla's existing CATL batteries that they're using, about 5% higher. What I think Tesla's doing is, I think that this car will get significantly more range in the real world. But they're saying this, you know, they're doing what they're doing now in the United States, which you buy a Tesla car, it's going to get more range than advertised. That's pretty normal now for Teslas. Um, very, very commonly, I'm getting emails all the time saying I'm getting more range than EPA in the quote, quoted numbers here. So I think that's what their plan is to do for the Chinese made Model 3. You're going to get more range than you're expecting. Charging speed will increase as well. Now, a lot of people are speculating they believe that actually this battery is likely to replace the BYD Blade battery in the Tesla Model Y that's manufactured in Germany, that Tesla's going to move away from BYD's batteries. This is very possible. And the reason that is the case is because the BYD Blade battery now, the energy density is actually quite low. Cadle's new LFP batteries, they have five different batteries that all have higher energy density than BYD does in their Blade battery. So that would kind of make sense. The BOD Blade battery also charging speed capacity. It's not, it's okay, but it's not up to the, nowhere near the level of Cadle's batteries. Cadle's battery charging speed is between 500 to 600 kilowatts charging speed. Just ridiculous. A kilowatt hours I'm talking about here. So amazing charging speed. And that would be one of the reasons for the change. So the Tesla Model Y Juniper is likely to get this battery pack in the standard range as well. That's what, that's what some people are saying. I can't confirm if that's true. But anyway, here are the numbers that I'm actually reading. 520 kilometers of range, WLTP in the new Model 3, faster charging speed, 4% bigger battery pack, LFP or LMFP. I don't think LMFP, that seems extremely unlikely. And one kilogram lighter, even though the pack is 4% bigger. So definitely a very different battery. Are these, what, what people are saying here, what are my thoughts? Well, first of all, I'm ruling out LMFP. That's not going to happen. Um, based on all the information we've found out over the last six months, that's not going to happen. The Tesla Model Y Juniper, will it get this battery? I think there's a 90% chance it will. Tesla Model 3, it sounds like it is getting this battery pack. It almost sounds like it's confirmed. 4% net capacity increase, I think in the real world, is going to give it quite a bit more range. Fast charging, the actual speed of the charging should increase to around 250 kilowatt, and it should be able to hold that peak speed for longer. So it's a big change for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. And obviously, like I said, it's not coming to the American vehicles. That will be Panasonic. They'll continue with Panasonic batteries. And of course, they also do use some LG Chem. But yeah, that's the big change here. This will be cheaper for Tesla. Um, these new uh, LFP batteries, I don't believe CATL will charge Tesla anything more for these batteries than they charge Tesla for their existing batteries today, which are now obviously out of date, pretty old now. But will the price be any different to what BYD, um, to what Tesla's paying for the BYD Blade battery? Probably a couple of percent more. I don't think it'll be much different though. You gotta remember that um, BYD and Cato, they're both fighting each other uh, tooth and nail to get Tesla's business. It's a huge marketing thing to be able to say, Tesla uses our batteries in their cars. So I don't think the price for Tesla will have increased, even though this battery is a little bigger and clearly in a few ways, significantly better.